welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question lead code weekly contest 4 to 1 find the maximum factor score of error so the question states that you are given an integer array nums the factor score of an array is defined as the product of lcm and gcd of all elements of that array return the maximum factor score of nums after removing at most one element from it note that both the LCM and GCD of single number are the number itself and factor score of an empty array is 0. The term LCM AB denotes the least common multiple of A and B and GCD denotes the greatest common divisor of A and B. So, here, so here we see an example. If we take 2, 4, 8 and 16 so here the LCM would be the least common multiple least common multiple means here 2 so 2 will be our answer for LCM and for GCD it will be 16 so we need to find the product of these two so 16 into 2 ok so this will be our answer which is equal to 32 but now we have an option to remove at most one element from this so to remove any one element suppose i remove two from here if i remove two then the least common multiple will become four so it will give us 16 into 4 which is 64 so product is maximized and what we want is the maximum factor score so we can achieve the maximum factor score by removing 2 from this and then getting the answer ok so one way is this like here you see the answer is 64 as we have removed 2 from here the GCD is becoming 4 and LCM is 16. So now how do we need to approach this? The approach is very simple. We will be using brute force. So in brute force what we will do? First we will calculate the GCD and LCM of whole array. Okay. So once the GCD is calculated and LCM is calculated we will take the product and store it in suppose a maximum score variable after storing this we will start calculating GCD and LCM of the array by removing any one element from it so we will start from a loop starting from 0 to n and there we will check GCD GCD of whole array minus i ith element by removing the ith element LCM of same array minus the ith element and for each ith element we will take the gcd and lcm and then we will take maximum of all these which are calculated and whatever maximum output comes that will be our answer so let's look at the c++ approach of this so what we are doing is we are first taking if I have only one number let's suppose I have only 6 so GCD is the number itself LCM is the number itself so the answer will be directly 6 square so that is what we have done here we have just multiplied the number to itself because a single number has GCD as the number itself and LCM also as the number itself and we have taken the product of GCD and LCM now we take the overall GCD 
the overall gcd of the array is calculated here just we have calculated and mentioned the starting number and cal calculated the gcd here okay so gcd is calculated after that similarly lcm is calculated and then lcm of array is calculated which is using this lcm equation got it so after we have done with all this we have calculated gcd of array we have calculated lcm of array now we need to calculate the maximum score maximum score would be overall gcd into overall lcm that is calculated so we have done the work for whole array now we need to check for removing at most one element from it and then calculating gcd so we create a new vector which is having the same numbers as nums and then we remove the ith element from it so we are erasing the ith element from this now we calculate the gcd without that ith element and lcm without that ith element once it is done we calculate the factor score by multiplying gcd without i and lcm without i and after this we take maximum of maximum score and factor score maximum score was the one which was calculated when we were calculating the gcd into lcm of whole array and the factor score is the one which we are calculating at each i so maximum score would give us the maximum score which we have encountered after all these operations involving this one hence we return maximum score at the end which would be our answer so i hope this solution is very clear to all of you and if you have any doubt you can post it in the comments thanks for watching